action. All right, so our success story today comes from Matt, and Matt says, I can't begin to thank you enough. About two and a half years ago, you taught some classes at New Spring Church, where my wife and two two kids still currently attend. We went to the first class thinking we had a good idea of how to get out of debt. We had almost $65,000 in debt between credit cards, which was $26,000 alone. His truck at the time was about $28,000, and the rest was student loans. Little did we know we were in a very dark place financially, and at that time, we were wanting to expand our family. Like I said, we can't thank you enough as we walked in, out that first night with some amazing tips and tools, and most of all, hope. I'm proud to say that we have just a little over $3,000 left to pay off, and that will be gone by the year's end. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's awesome. Crazy. I mean, I love success stories like this. I mean, thank you, Matt, for number one, taking the time to write. I mean, if you think about how little people write and let alone using full words, um, that's a lot to write, especially when you're sharing the details of your personal financial situation. And one thing that I know that's really clear is he said, we had no idea, um, you know, how bad it was. It gets revealed. And then he says, we, little did we know we were in a very dark place financially. Like he just didn't know it. But all of a sudden, light was shed on it. And we always say when we're teaching, when we're on this podcast, our goal is to plant seeds. Things for you to think about on a Monday that you can noodle on through the week and finally make a decision that can help you take a step forward. We're not, I mean, we would love to all take leaps and bounds forward. And sometimes you will. Most times it's little steps, one step after another. And so Matt, two and a half years ago, think about this. You had $65,000 in credit cards and truck debt and student loans. Today, as you wrote in this, this note, you have three grand left. That's less than 5% of your debt left. You're 95% of the way there. And by the end of the year, in a pandemic, you're going to be 100% debt free. So I see you say, thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to turn it around and say, thank you, thank you, thank you for turning in and sharing this story to us because this is how this podcast is powered. It's why we do what we do. Megan, what, what type of thing do you take from this success story that you would want to share? Yeah, I think it's wild. I think a lot of people look at their debt and think I'll never be debt free or the amount is too much. It's insurmountable. I can't pay off that. But I mean, he had $65,000 and in two and a half years, like you said, 95% of it's paid off and that's huge. And he, I'm sure their family would say they've made some sacrifices, but I can guarantee you in this moment, they're saying those sacrifices were well worth it. And so I think if you're in that boat and you're saying, I have all this student loan debt, I have all this car debt, credit card debt. It just mounds up. Well, write it all down. We have a tool that you can do that in. And then start making steps towards your debt freedom. And you can do it. We've read story after story each week of people that have paid off thousands and thousands of dollars. And so why not you? Like, why couldn't it be you? And so it just takes one step to get started. So we really encourage you today to take that step. We have lots of episodes on how to get rid of your debt, how to pay it off quickly, you know, different eight ways to eliminate your debt, yada, yada. We have all these episodes. So I'll include a bunch of them in the show notes if that's where you are, but you can do it. So why not you start today? Awesome. Yeah. And so now we come to the teaching moment, the podcast, trying to give you practical wisdom for your money journey.